Hi, welcome to BKS classes. Now we will study about acetyl choline in central nervous system. We have already studied before acetyl choline in peripheral nervous system. In acetyl, what is the function of acetyl choline in CNS? Today we will study. And so the uh, synthesis, storage, release, all are same as that of periphery. You can see. So acetylcholine is synthesized from acetyl coenzyme A plus choline by the enzyme choline acetyl transferase is synthesis it, uh, it forms acetylcholine and then this acetylcholine is stored inside the vesicles and when the impulse comes this there will be exocytosis of acetylcholine and in the synapse acetylcholine is degraded by acetylcholine esterase enzyme to choline and acetic acid and this choline can again return back by an uptake mechanism. So this synthesis, storage and release we have already discussed in peripheral nervous system. Now the receptors of acetylcholine can be the receptors can be muscarinic or nicotinic and muscarinic receptors are of five types M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. In CNS we have M1, M4 and M5. M4, M5 uh, still that we uh, don't know much about them, so mainly M1 is present in CNS. And nicotinic, we have two types of receptor, nicotinic neuronal and nicotinic muscular. And in CNS we have nicotinic neuronal. Okay? And the functions uh, are mostly this muscatinic one and uh, the functions of CN, acetylcholine, uh, mainly erosal, okay, erosal, then respiration, then motor activity, and the main function is learning and memory, learning and memory, then another main function is motion sickness, Then in vertigo, we have a role. And when you say learning and memory, mainly the short term memory. Okay? So, all these are functions of uh, uh, acetylcholine in CNS is regulated. So, the DGJs in which we can use drugs acting on acetylcholine are motion sickness in motion sickness uh, drugs like anticholinergic drugs like hyoscine is the drug of choice okay and in this is anticholinergic so antimuscarinic you say antimuscarinic Then in Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease concerned with memory. And in a in this in Alzheimer's disease, the acetylcholine level is decreased. So now we can give the cholinergic drugs, cholinergic drugs which are actually the inhibitors of this acetylcholine storage enzyme so that the acetylcholine level increases. So the cholinergic drugs which are anti-choline 
ईस्टर एजेस एंटी कोडिन ईस्टर एजेस और एसिटेल कोडिन ईस्टर एज इन यूटर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टैक्रीन डेलेंटमीन ऑल दीज आर यूजफुल इन आर्जेमस डिजीज सो दे दीज ड्रग्स इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ एसिटेल कोडिन then we have parkinson's disease parkinson's disease and in parkinson's disease there is decrease in dopaminergic activity which leads to increase in cholinergic activity so we can draw give anti cholinergic drug in parkinson's disease and the example is benzotropin So these are some of the uh, important uh, diseases where acetylcholine has a role, and acetylcholine is distributed throughout the CNS, uh, from forebrain to midbrain to brainstem to spinal cord. Everywhere, acetylcholine is found. So this is all about acetylcholine, and we will discuss all these diseases in detail in future. Thank you.